It happened so quickly, firefighters knew this was a battle they weren't going to win. A mobile home in the town of seven persons lit up last night, destroying the house and two nearby vehicles. The biggest thing was to, uh, to try to save the surrounding structures, uh, make sure that this fire didn't get uh, more out of control. There was one person at the house, 49-year-old Pat Donnelly. She was rushed to Medicine Hat Regional Hospital with severe burns before being transported to a Calgary hospital. Neighbors say the fire began when Pat went outside and started the barbecue. The ladies from across the street had her over on the lawn. They were putting towels on her and pouring cold water on her until the ambulance got here. One of the firefighters responding to the blaze was Chuck Donnelly, the husband. By the time he arrived, his wife was already on a stretcher. Between 25 and 30 percent of the woman's body has second degree burns, according to her daughter. She's going to need a little bit of surgery apparently. Um, it's mostly just on her legs that the burns occurred. What's left today is just simply the wreckage. It's hard to even tell that this was a home, as only large piles of charred wood, plastic and metal remain. You just kind of got to move on. There's nothing we can do. Um, trying to salvage what little bits we have. The family pets were able to escape, and amongst the rubble, some collectibles and keepsakes were saved. Pictures of my mom's family and just history things. Amber spent most of this morning buying some new clothes, shoes and toiletries for her and her mom. Already the community is pouring out support, not only friends and co-workers, but online companions as well. Business owner Dana Gackley has never met Amber before, but got to know her through website Twitter. Now she and several others are collecting clothes and other donations for the family. There was a group of four of us that were going to meet for coffee for the first time last night. And we just found out from her directly that she couldn't make it because her house was on fire. Investigators say it will likely take a few more days until they know the exact cause of the blaze. Kyle Bax, Chat News.